This is our zero hour. And I call you now to do your duty by the light of the glorious galactic empire. The battle to come is not a fight for Jakku or even a fight for the empire. It is a fight for all the galaxy. Gallius Rax the battle of Jakku commenced a year and four days after the battle of Endor. With the empire controlling most of the galaxy's major shipyards, the Republic sought to expand their fleet by capturing imperial vessels, along with destroying a secret imperial weapons facility on the planet. The battle took place in space and the barren deserts of Jakku as new Republic forces sought to destroy the Imperial presence on the planet. The Imperial fleet was commanded by Grand Moff Rand while the Imperial ground forces were commanded by General Borum. Rand's strategists devised a battle plan which involved the Star Destroyers forming a defensive cordon around the Ravager. During the battle, the Star Destroyers would periodically open formation to allow the Ravager to bombard the new Republic fleet with turbo lasers and missiles. This blunted the New Republic assault until Commodore Kirsta Agat attacked the Ravager with her Mark I Starhawk battleship Concorde. Despite her ship being crippled, she managed to use the Concorde's powerful tractor beam projector to drag the Ravager down into Jakku's atmosphere. This turned the tide of the battle in the New Republic's favor. With the Imperial command ship destroyed, New Republic forces were able to outflank the Imperial forces on all fronts. With the battle turning against the Empire, the surviving Imperial forces began pulling ships onto the planet's surface utilizing their tractor beams, killing most of the occupants in an instant.